So gathering more history, this is more specific now for a history of present illness, OPQRST, this acronym, and less likely for the history of present injury, but it still can be used. We do want to develop a way to use this acronym and ask these questions in more conversational style. This will take more practice on us. Continue to practice to ask these questions over and over. So just understanding the acronym, O stands for onset. We'd want to ask an open-ended question that would tell us, like, tell us a little bit about how this started or when this started. And if they're unable to, then we say, oh, did it come on suddenly or did it gradually get worse? P is provokes or palliative, but we're basically asking them, what made this worse? What made it better? And can you tell us more about it? Quality is the description. Can you describe to us what are you feeling right now? What are your symptoms? And tell me what they feel like. Have you had this before? And is there any way that it's similar to something that you had? And what was the diagnosis? I know it's a bunch of questions that I'm throwing out there, but we want to try to keep these questions all aligned with each other so that we don't get distracted as we continue to develop the way we ask these questions. Radiation or region, it could be where is this pain and does it move anywhere? So if they can point to it or kind of generally describe where it is and does it radiate or move anywhere and does it get any worse with the movement? Severity, again, this would be, you know, I've heard people use percentages. Is it 20% better? Is it 10% better? 80% better? But in usually using the severity score, we're trying to use zero or one to 10, 10 being the worst, zero or one being the least. And we ask our patient, can you describe to us and tell us how severe is your pain? If I told you zero is no pain, 10 is the worst. We want to go back and use this as a reference point. That would be our baseline. And then if we did something to make it better or worse, potentially moving the limb or moving an arm or giving them oxygen or giving them something to alleviate the pain or discomfort, we want to see if, our, in fact, we did such. And we'd ask them again at that time. So you started off with a pain being at this high on the pain scale, maybe a 10. Now we did something for you, did it change it at all? Now what would you rate it from zero to 10? Last time, last one is time, and that would be, when did this actually start? What time today did this start? How long has this been going on? And again, this could be days, minutes, hours, you know, it could be something that's come on and gone away and come on and gone away. And so we wanna really try to make our questions uh, more clear and then start to uh, piece together a chronological timeline of when it started what transpired, what's going on, and continue up to the point that we are at. We're going to continue to ask these sample and OPQRST questions throughout the entire duration that we are with our patient. You should have an initial OPQRST, reassess those OPQRST questions somewhere during transport, and then address these questions later towards the end as we end up at the hospital and transfer care to the emergency room. Practice these questions and gathering history in some fashion that's organized. Use your skill sheets and then start to remember these as a chronological time sequencing event. This will help us piece together the signs and symptoms and then align them more towards what we think the patient's medical emergency might be. Keep in mind that these questions that you're asking may, be need, may need to be fashioned per each complaint. For example, if your patient says, I have chest pain, you can ask them about the chest pain. When did this start? Where is it? Does it move anywhere? Does anything make it better or worse? And they may tell you, I also have some shortness of breath. So now shortness of breath requires you now to go back and ask the same types of questions when did the shortness of breath start? Was it before your chest pain or after your chest pain? What makes your shortness of breath worse? Is it related to the chest pain or is it totally not related or coincidental? So again, think about this. Based on each complaint, you will have to use OPQRST. 
you'll be using this to ask questions throughout the case. You'll be going back and forth to reassess the questions and answers and somehow trying to organize all the information that you're taking in to align it towards your medical assessment, your medical emergency, and then design a treatment plan. Practice with your skill sheets, 